going on YouTube? You're watching Next Gen Speed. Uh, today we're going to show you our newest product. We got pre-built plug and play RGB Camaro headlights. Now these ones are going to come with a Flow Series DRL. You can put it on a single color if you want to, um, or you can have them change colors, or you can just have them set to white if you wanted to. Uh, these ones are all going to come with LED low and high beam built in um, versus you know the HID uh, that you get with your stock ones. So we're going to show you how to do that and install these. We already have the bumper off on this Camaro. If you do not know how to take your front bumper off, we're going to have a video linked below that you can watch to get the front bumper off. But for this, we're showing you how to change the headlights. So we're going to start by taking off the OEM ones um, and then install the other ones, which these are plug and play. There is one wire that you're going to have to run to the passenger side, but it just plugs in simple enough and we'll show you that here in a moment. So we're going to start off by taking off these bolts, holding in the factory headlights. They're going to be seven millimeter bolts. You have one here, one here on the side. There's going to be this one right here. And then got another one down here, as you can see. take off those four and then pull the headlight out it's going to be a plug on the back just one single plug it's kind of down there and then that's it to take off your stock headlights getting caught on this. We may need to take this bolt off on each side just to give this a little bit more flex just so we can get this little tab underneath. Just like that. And this is going to be the plug for the headlights. You got this red locking tab. Just pull that back. You click the black. Just like that. You're going to have one on this side, and you have this annoying clip on it. This is for your turn signal. Just like that, and then tab on here as well. I'll just do that for now. So, headlights out. Just repeat that process over here on the driver's side. We'll get that. So these plugs sometimes get a little dirty right here around the around the clip. But just kind of wipe a little, little bit while you're pulling and pushing that tab in and it'll come out. So the new headlights are gonna come with a new new bulb as well as a new connector for it. So you don't need this one. You can just get rid of that with your old headlights or put it back in there. Do whatever you want with them. We're going to get this one out now. This. Right. And there you have it. Both headlights are out. Then we're going to Get these ones ready to go in and we're going to show you how to connect them up. And we'll show you a couple features on them and show you them in action. Alright, All right. so we're going to start here with the driver's side one. As you can see, we have this long wire coming out of it. So you're going to have two connectors. There's going to be this one that's going to control your DRLs and then this one is also for power to 
the module built into it. So this passenger side one, that's gonna have your receiving end. So this is gonna plug into the car like normal, as well with the new turn signal. Just plug that harness in like normal, this harness in like normal, and then run that one wire across the car to plug into this end. So we're gonna take these. We're gonna plug that turn signal in. We're gonna plug this headlight harness in. Lock that down. You can run this wire however you want to. Uh, can put put it through here whatever you prefer as long as you make sure it's long enough so there's this little rubber housing here that you can kind of fish through you pull that across rest of the three bolts in as well. All right, so once you got this headlight bolted in, like I said with this wire, we're just gonna show you how to do the installation pretty much just now. Um, you can run it however you want to, but for now we're just gonna lay it across, just kind of through here. So I have those there, and then grab our passenger side headlight connect the turn signal harness. Connect this headlight harness as well. All right, so once we have the two harnesses plugged in, we're gonna plug these in. They only go plug in one way. We're gonna plug both those in. inside here. All right. And then I'm just gonna install this headlight, same as the other side. So there we have it. Got the headlights hooked up. Got the DRLs on. You see they shine white just like normal. They are Bluetooth controlled. So just gonna use this app called Magic LED. You open that, and we can change the color. Whichever color you prefer. You got this little color wheel as well that you can change them with. You do have different modes. You can select a random mode. As you can see there, they are Flow Series lights. You can have them different show modes. You can select different modes. Whichever one you like best. Um, wait, so these are powered with the DRLs. So if the car is off, and we have the car off right now, we do have this light switch turn to parking lights. Um, if you want to check them out when they're when the car's off, so you can do it that way. So when the car is off, they're going to turn off. If you have all your lights off, it's not going to drain any battery. They're basically going to come on just the same way as your factory ones come on. And then, so they're off. Whenever you turn them on, they're going to be whatever you had set last. So, so we have this little show mode going. So whatever you had them set to last is what they're gonna continue doing when they turn back on. So 
you want to avoid any tickets, we would, we would recommend keeping them on white, but it's completely your choice. When you go in the app, these ones are going to be, when you open the app first, it's going to give you this whole device list. These lights are going to be called SP105E. You call it, connect that, and you're just going to be connected. All right, there you have it. That's our installation of our plug and play flow series DRLs for the 16 to 18 Camaro. Once those are installed, you can just go ahead and put your bumper back on and then you'll be all set. You can order these now. We're gonna have the link down in the description and we'll see you all next time.